transformation of Mer Sylvie into Fair Sylvie. The Angel of Mercy appeared before Mer King Neptune. He bowed respectfully as the angel spoke to him. The angels have sent you a special human girl to your Mer Kingdom, who is pure of heart and mind. Protect this girl. She does not yet know her mission. She's here to discover it for herself. She is to be crowned Fair Sylvie by the Fairy Queen, making her a powerful Mer Fairy. You must release this mermaid to the seashore before sunrise on the first night she becomes a mermaid. Two dolphins kept a watchful eye on Mer Sylvie as she rose to the ocean surface. A beautiful pair of golden wings were magically bestowed upon Sylvie's back. She was transformed into a mystical fairy. She had become considerably smaller than a mermaid. Her name to be known in fairyland was to change again to become Fair Sylvie. Introducing Charlie the Unicorn. There stood a truly majestic white unicorn whose mane was sparkling in the rainbow. Charlie spoke to the newly created fairy girl. It's my mission to take you to Fairyland. You will be honored by the Fairy Queen of Fairyland. Welcome. There is so much to celebrate your arrival to our realm, Fair Sylvie. Rapidly losing her fears, she smiled and flew up upon Charlie's back. Meeting the Green Man. The first point of call for the two of them was to meet and talk to the Green Man. He is the father of all living creatures of the forest and the trees. He was extremely wise. The Green Man spoke. Well done, Charlie the Unicorn. You have clearly been chosen to bring this special fairy girl to Elfheim. Sadly, many humans have lost their way to our world's knowledge. So we've had to protect ourselves. Be on your way. Follow the path way behind me that leads to a violet cloak in the deep woods. This secret veil entrance will part open whilst you recite the secret message of the fairies. I who walk with the angels would walk with the fairies. Today, you will be made an official fairy, Fair Sylvie. Know this. You will be able to pass through this veil always when you listen to your true heart, even when you become human again. I bless you both and wish you happiness on your adventures. Fair Sylvie, you are a unique individual as you have been given to us by the human world. Enjoy the magic. Who is the green man? The representation of a face surrounded by or made of leaves. Branches or vines may sprout from the nose, mouth, nostrils or other parts of the face. And these shoots may bear flowers or fruit. Commonly used commonly used as a decorative architectural ornament. Green men are found in carvings of both secular and ecclesiastical buildings. The green man is interpreted as a symbol of rebirth, representing the cycle of growth each spring. Some speculate that the mythology of the green man developed independently in the traditions of separate ancient cultures and evolved into a wide example of varieties found throughout history. Introducing the Butterfly Lady of Music. Meeting the little people of Elfheim, Charlie the Unicorn recited the official words to open the portals of Fairyland. We come with respect and peace in our hearts for the little people of Elfheim. 
We will try not, we will not venture where you would forbid us to enter. We do not wish to trespass or disturb you. We would dearly like to come among you and be your companion for a while. If you can do this, please honor us with a sign. May the internal love and the deep peace of the Great Spirit be always with the little people of Elfheim. They walked past the dancing fairies to find a most unusual, beautiful fairy lady with butterfly wings, huge wings, brown and orange, black and white dots. It was indeed the butterfly lady of music. She spoke with a soft, soothing voice. Hello, my friends. You are most welcome to Elfame. I am the butterfly lady of music, formerly of humankind. Charlie and Fair Sylvie sat upon the warm, sunny ground to witness an enormous golden harp appear. The butterfly lady of music started playing music upon this ancient fairy harp, which filled the air with the most serene and beautiful sound. Fairy, as a human girl, had never heard music like this. Meeting the fairy queen and the heart star ceremony crowning fair Sylvie as a fairy. The flower fairy started pouring flower petals all over fair Sylvie from above her head. A hush fell on the air. Suddenly appearing out of skies was a luminous white light. The magical white light revealed a soft, pale-faced fairy queen who wore a magical white dress that sparkled with fine jewels and crystals woven into its fabric. She had a soft pink glow around her, wearing a golden tiara crown upon her perfect head of golden hair. The fairy queen flew gracefully towards fair Sylvie, passing Charlie the unicorn with a smile and a wink. The fairy queen spoke to the entire kingdom of Elfame. My open heart greets you, all people of Elfame. Father Sky and Mother Earth have not forgotten us. They have this very day sent us a human girl, pure of heart. They have granted Sylvie's wish to become a mer fairy among us. The fairy queen smiled at fair Sylvie as her wings sparkled brightly in the sunshine. Without words, she magically sent a stream of tiny heart stars, sprinkling them around fair Sylvie. These hearts each had the shape of a star containing a rainbow of colors at its core. The rainbow colors within these stars would become more significant later in Fair Sylvie's adventure. I want to just quickly address why I spell fairies differently in this book. A lot of people would know fairies as F-A-I-R-I-E-S. In this book, I spell fairies F-A-E-R-I-E-S. But it can also be spelled F-A-Y, F-A-E, and fair folk, F-A-I or F-O-L-K. It comes from the ancient word fairy, F-A-E or I-E, F-A-E or Y, or the realm of the fae, F-A-E. In this story, F-A-E or F-A-E or fae or fair can be used in front of words throughout and specifically in front of the main character's name, Sylvie. For example, Fair Sylvie. This is a way of highlighting her transition from a human girl or 
from being a mermaid into becoming a fairy. Mr. Eagle, who is this sacred animal? Why did he help the Butterfly Lady of Peace headquarters? Fair Sylvie had been granted a unique entry to the Fairy Peace headquarters. She turned her small head to see a beautiful lady with large orange and brown dotted butterfly wings. She was not the butterfly lady of music. Fair Sylvie wondered, who could she be? She was beautiful, with a powerful look in her eye. It was the butterfly lady of peace headquarters awaiting to greet Fair Sylvie. Well, our human fairy girl has arrived. Welcome, fair Sylvie, to our magical kingdom of peace headquarters. I am the butterfly lady, goddess of protection and transformation. The butterfly lady poured out her heart to the new fairy girl, explaining her tragic story of how she had become this goddess. Finally, the angels had shown her the way to meet Mr. Eagle. He is one of the kingdom's precious sacred animals. She smiled at the bewildered fairy girl who was listening closely to her every word as she shared her extraordinary story. The butterfly lady continued, Mr. Eagle soared so high. He inspired me to new heights and introduced me to my guardian angels 